need to make sure that you're running that shaft really lightly along the plane rail. If you're a player that has a tendency of going outside on the backswing, I would definitely recommend uh, doing lots of practice with the shaft on the outside of the rail. Vice versa, if you're someone who goes to the inside on the backswing, I would set it up with the alignment strip as well so that you're resting the shaft on the underneath side of the rail. So then you're going to feel like the putt is more in front of you. If you go inside, the shaft's actually going to come off the rail. So you definitely want to be running the shaft on either side of that rail, at least in practice strokes, if not mixing it up, and then uh, really lightly running the shaft along the rail when you actually hit your putt. So here I've removed the plane rail and I'm just using the aim strip and the shoulder alignment in the reflection there to give me my feedback on whether or not I'm set up correctly. And then hopefully I can make a stroke where the shaft stays on, on plane, front head swing slightly inside, back stroke slightly inside, forward stroke, face remains square to the path, and we return the putter face back to square at impact. shaft is in between the two plane rails. The lie angle is, is um, perfectly flat and the sweet spot on the putter, the middle of the putter is directly underneath the aim strip. make sure when you're training with a perfect stroke that uh, you are looking at the target line or the target as well as the references from the training aid itself. This is going to help you make that transition from training to on course. So just really lightly running that shaft along the rail.